Hey guys, Stickle here. Today we got a game in the Challenger for you. That's right, the legendary tier British battleship Nelson. Uh, we got Kong, which is an anti-air build, and Dimitri Dewey. Enhances the AP penetration angles. Not necessarily a build I specifically set up for this ship, but it's what I'm currently running on the bulk of my British fleet. Here we got a game on the map Shards, domination mode, and we're paired with the cruiser, Des Moines. And a battleship, I think it's a Friedrich or something like that. Des Moines, now we're going to score pretty well here in this game here. We're actually going to have a few uh, really high scoring players in this. I think it's probably about four players over 24,000 or something like that. We'll be in the second place actually uh, with the Destroyer scoring uh, extremely high in the Kleber. We're not going to be able to see much of the Kleber over here, but we'll be able to keep an eye on the Des Moines. Uh, but what we're doing here... I spawn more to the west. Uh, the other battleships spawn more to the northeast, I guess. We were southwest. Ideally, if you got two battleships that spawn right next to each other, you'd want to branch off in like a V pattern. Try and get at least a square uh, spread between them. So because I was more west, I elected to go kind of southwest. Other battleship uh, trailing me basically right behind me. Kind of annoying from a crossfire perspective. Uh, so, recognizing this, I'm going to let him do whatever he wants. I'm going to attempt to turn away here and set up defensively and then project power into the cap. I want you to see where the Des Moines plays. You can see the island on the map there where he's going into. He's going to play that island, and that's a position I'll play from time to time in cruiser. Uh, a lot of times if I'm going to destroy, I'll play off that island to start. Even once in a while, I'll try and get in battleship there. You need to understand, though, if you're playing that spot that you have... Uh, the opportunity to get crossfired from B. And uh, that's a key part of this map, understanding it, is it's a relatively open map, and no matter what uh, column you're on, A, B, or C, somebody somewhere from across the map can shoot you in the side. So you got to be very careful there. Uh, so if those red ships move forward into B, uh, you can see they would begin to have shots on him, uh, but because they're hanging back in the spawn, uh, he's protected currently. But we need to keep an eye on him, because you can see he's... Uh, Number one, attempting to capture the base, uh, which is outstanding. And number two, we're going to see him react as the game goes on. They got a Minotaur. They got a Marco Polo uh, here. Minotaur, I'd love to be able to blast him. I'm considering shooting him blind in the smoke because the Minotaur shoots very quickly. You can get a rough idea where he is. Take a shot. Sometimes they hit him, sometimes not. Uh, we do have HE loaded, though. We got the Marco Polo with the Des Moines, our uh, other battleship, and uh, now ourselves focusing on him. And... Basically, we're just going to say, okay, we got all three guys over here shooting this guy. Let's get rid of him. Uh, we need to be aware that currently he's probably within fuel, refueling range of the Minotaur Will to Rebuild, as the game calls it, uh, which is basically infinite health when they're close to a teammate. Uh, but he is increasing the distance, and the Minotaur is locked into the cloud. He's not going to leave that cloud because he will get uh, murdered very quickly. So Marco Polo, whether or not he's got Will to Rebuild on his... Uh, commander build or not it's becoming irrelevant and look at here we're staggering these shots because we'd previously uh you we caused him to use the damage control uh previously because he's already set he's been set on fire put it out and now we were attempting to spray him throughout various parts of the ship by delaying the shots uh you know instead of double tapping the trigger which fires all the guns at once that are loaded and in position now, doing that, we can potentially hit different parts of the ship with the intention of causing multiple fires. There we got one, but we will see uh, that tactic at least once more, maybe twice more, throughout the match with uh, more interesting results uh, when we get there. So, here's their Friedrich. He's projecting power into the base. Des Moines still trying to capture the base. You can see he's got about 60% of his health or so. Minotaur is elected to flee, which isn't a bad call for him necessarily. Uh, we have the potential over on this cap. But he assumes a kiting uh, kind of stance, and now he's trying to kill the uh, battleship on A. So that's where we're at here. Blue did capture B. Blue has C surrounded. So in terms of map control and uh, scoring control, this game's looking very good from Blue's perspective. Ray, of course, arrayed horizontally throughout where their spawn is. They basically gained no ground since the game began. And you can see Blue more or less uh, forming a straight line through the caps. We're not quite into A yet, but... We're working on getting there, and so we control the middle of the map. They control their spawn, so we're in a much better position there. I'm still trying to hold this side here uh, until the Des Moines can secure the cap. Then we need to get back into the middle because uh, we need to begin defending you know, two-thirds of the map rather than just uh, projecting power into this third. So 
now we're saying, okay, we got the base, so we're going to turn in towards B. Uh, consider flipping the guns around, depending on how far into a turn we get. Not sure where the Grover, or the Friedrich, rather, is. The Minotaur, last seen quite a ways away. They are beginning to flip B here, the Red is, so they're, at least the Destroyer is recognizing a little bit of the peril uh, that they're finding themselves in here. Uh, but here we're, you can see that. That's the projection we are talking about earlier. Those guys uh, supporting B actually shot into that battleship and took him out. So the Des Moines... See, now he's backed up a little bit. I think he's trying to protect himself from the Friedrich here, who is now going to charge him uh, and attempt to kill him and get him off and flip the cap and everything else. Uh, so he's going to back the Des Moines up. And again, those guys do have shots. So I do like playing where that Des Moines is, but it is very difficult if uh, red team's moving around. Uh, potentially you can get <laughs> killed quite quickly. So high risk, high reward position there. Minotaur spraying us with silver showers. We're going to move to the right trying to cut him off as much as possible, focusing on the Friedrich. Number one, he's on the cap. Number two, he's attacking our valuable Des Moines cruiser. Radar, they still have their destroyer on their team, so we want to protect the Des Moines. It's a great ship besides the fact that it's got the radar. And I'm content to, okay, eventually these secondaries on the Friedrich are going to start hitting us. Fair enough. You know, we want to take him out here. Uh, you can see we've managed to get multiple fires on him. He's in serious trouble. And we just want to get him off the board quickly. Then we'll move towards the Minotaur and try and kill him point-blank range. That's the thinking here. Uh, we're trying to hit superstructure, and we're getting decent shots. HE, of course, more reliable than AP, uh, but lower damage. Vicious shot from B there, and again, the power projected coming from the middle of the map. Uh, so do you need to be aware of that? It's the play we're making. You know, we're, If those guys are paying attention, we're going to get shot. That's what it is. So we go into the play knowing what the risks and rewards are. Uh, Friedrich, now he's on the ropes. He's got about 10,000 health. We're going to aim right over that main gun, trying to hit the superstructure. We want to kill him in the salvo here. We don't want any more uh, problems from this guy. We don't want him to take another shot at the Des Moines or myself. Down he goes. We drop spot briefly. Uh, but as we come around the bend here, uh, we will note that. And actually, the Minotaur here is probably primarily... The other guys may or may not have spotted me, but uh, we're right on the edge of the detection there. Minotaur certainly did as he came around. Holding the line for a moment here. He pops a smoke. He begins shooting. Fair enough. And as soon as we've allowed him to launch the torps, which is the expected play, now we'll begin to turn evasively, right? If we suspect we're under torpedo attack, which I strongly did there, let him torp. And then immediately after, uh, change of course. We got AP loaded, hoping to get the Minotaur, but we do now have a developing crossfire in the Alaska. Again, cross map projection here. Uh, key feature of shards. You want to be looking for the shots. No big payout, just a little bit of overpen damage there, but not the end of the world. Anything we can do to help get the Alaska off the board is going to be a good play because he's a dangerous ship as well. Conqueror is on the ropes. Uh, we've reloaded HE due to the fact that we got an angling uh, Alaska. We got a Conqueror pointing at us, and we got a Minotaur who's up to no good. Um, needed a more reliable shot. We weren't sure what we wanted to shoot. Conqueror about to go down, so we adjust our aim before the reload's complete on the Alaska, who begins turning in now. So we got an intense fight here. C has been completely uh, cleared. You can see the northeast now firmly under blue control, and the battle line is uh, in between B and C there, and we're kind of providing problems from the other side of the map. Here's the Minotaur again. He's peppering us uh, again. Now that he's going left to right instead of right to left, he's flipped around. We got another torpedo attack here and crossfire, so we're in serious trouble. And this Minotaur has been single stacking these torps. So this is potentially a kill shot here. We're going to try and evade as much as we can, but uh, we're in serious trouble. If we get hit here, it's over. Somehow we get that uh, rudder rotating or drop spot, so they cannot shoot us from that side. Uh, we need to pull forward, let the heel do its thing. We're getting a little bit of health left. And we'll see what we can do. I'm hoping the Minotaur gets greedy, comes back, and we can blast him one more time. Because as that was going on, we got a double Citadel strike on him. Didn't see how much damage it was, but he's got to be low. That's the thinking. Look at this though, on the map here. Uh, we're spotted. Here's a Grover. Not the Friedrich's big brother. This is dangerous. He can kill us here for sure. Nearly does. So we got the AP loaded. A midship. Reliable damage. Boom, 20,000 there. Get the high caliber. And it's probable that we're going to die here at this point in time. He's going to set us on fire with the secondaries. And or the main guns will probably reload before ours do. Great shot from the Marco Polo there. Bails us out. But we are on fire, unfortunately. So we will be dead uh, by fire. The 
damage control will not be up in time. The heal will not be up in time. Hoping we're going to just try and take a wild shot here. Hoping the Minotaur was coming around the bend to ambush us or something or whatever. But uh, down we go with 180,000 damage. So we'll get just shy of a 3k here. Once again, this Kleber, even watching this replay, I wasn't noticing what he was doing. But he got B, he got C, he probably, uh, I don't know what else he's been doing. But he definitely uh, scored quite well in this game. And presumably he killed the Shim as well. So that's going to do it for that one, guys. We'll cut it there. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. And then new to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. We've got lots of World of Warships coming for you guys all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you. And we'll see you all later. All right, peace.